Hey everybody, um, I am working with a ghost right now that I have not used yet at all. I got him two years ago uh, from Johnny, Johnny's Ghost. I mentioned him multiple times. Um, <clears throat> so I have to hang him on that crossbow like rig that is down there on the ground. <clears throat> and uh, he has basically, there's like voids underneath his hands. Um, he has really crinkled, creepy hands. And I'm just trying to figure out how all his cables go and stuff because I haven't used them yet. So uh, that's what I'm working on right now. He is all set up now. He's at almost his lowest position. Um, if this bar was straight back, that would be the lowest. But uh, he has three sets of strings, one coming from each hand, and then one from the back of his head, which goes up to this little pulley. And then they all three connect to this little ring right here. Um, and then he's counterweighted on that pulley in the back with uh, some fishing weights down over here to make him go really smooth. Um, what sucks is, right this second, I can't get to any of my extension cords. I literally have them all packed up, buried in a box uh, out in the garage. I have a few back at my house, but that doesn't help me because I really wanted to test him out. <laughs> Um, I know the motor near all the rigs still, you know, works because I tested that out a few times last year and then the year before that, but I've never got to see him so far actually going, um, so I'm, I'm very excited to see him <laughs> in motion. But um, I'll go step outside and show you sort of what the room is starting to look like now. So it's coming along pretty nicely. Um, I've had to scoot over both uh, his and his rigs a few inches now because I'm going to be sort of tightly putting in that last big ghost over here <clears throat> and then there's still the one little guy up in the front right here but um, it's uh, I'm, I'm sure glad I didn't secure that rig and stuff because I've had to gently scoot him a few inches here and there and I'm, I'm probably just gonna leave him that way you know not actually secure him down so I can continue to screw with them uh, and adjust them as I get like the curtains up and the chains up and stuff and another ghost is up um, that is my internal blacklight ghost so he actually has a black light inside of him, which makes the, you can kind of tell he has ribs, makes the ribs glow really bright. Um, and then that means only one more goddamn ghost for this window. Woohoo! So here's the setup for the final ghost. I just have him straight up sitting on a table, and I have one piece of that uh, wire holding him down, and that's it. He's good to go. So I'll go outside and take a peek at all the ghosts. All right, so that's it. All six ghosts are in the window. Um, obviously, it is not done by any means, but the main uh, the main part of just fitting them all in there and making sure all the mechanics and stuff are going to work um, is done. So now just for the easy stuff. I just finished putting a little bit of blood on this skeleton. Um, this is going to be at the very end of the trail that leads up to the candy. He's going to be standing basically behind the candy bucket. Um, I just want to sort of make it look like he had just been eating on somebody. Uh, sort of like a zombie skeleton, I guess, but he's actually going to be posed um, standing up and uh, sort of like hung from some fishing wire, sort of so he's like crouched down with his arms out. Um, and then there's going to be some uh, motion triggered strobe lights all around him and in the candy buckets that uh, little uh, shaker motor. So it'll be sort of a, a grand finale of the haunt. I've gotten a lot of work done on the ghost window uh, since the last few clips you just watched, but. Um, <clears throat> I'm not going to show that right now, I'll show it later, uh, because I'm actually over here during the daytime, so I'm going to try to get some stuff done outside that I really would have trouble doing at night. Um, I pulled out some of the wood that I need to board up this window. I have a bunch more in the garage, so i got to go find it all, um, but I really don't know exactly the, the pattern it's going to go in or the way I'm going to do this, so I'll just sort of be like a doing it as I go. So the current plan for this window has changed a little bit. I'm not going to probably do a, just a normal uh, boarded up window because the wood I have, the size of this window, the fact that I can't screw or drill into these walls at all uh, would make it a little bit hard. So I'm going to do more like a barricade. Um, and granted, what I'm going to show you is literally I, I put three pieces of wood up so far. I haven't done actual anything. but. Um, the rough idea would be a couple big pieces like that over the window. I'm going to break some holes in them, make it look you know nasty, and have the arms sticking out of those. And then have one, two pieces, not this long, I need to trim it down, 
um, of wood sort of holding it all up and then there would be um, smaller scrap pieces like this you know sort of screwed in um, in between you know like the gap there and just to sort of make it look a little bit uh, more raggedy maybe even wrap some barbed wire around like the poles down here um, you know sort of make it a little bit more like I said like a, like a barricade instead of just you know a couple pieces of wood over the window um, so I think that's gonna work I have one other large piece over here that I can cut down um, so now we just gotta find the skill saw which I, it might be at my shed at my house <laughs> so I'm currently uh, dirtying up and putting scratches and holes in the wood you can see uh, that one, I have to add more to it, but it looks a little better than the nice, bright, new wood. And uh, my dad, say hi. Happy Halloween. Yeah, close enough. Um, he cut some wood uh, and put these little uh, bracket pieces on so the longer pieces have something to actually stick into. Make it, a little, make it look a little bit better than just leaning up against the bare wood. So here's a final shot of it before I put, like, bloody handprints on it and... Uh, dirty up these two uh, poles down here um, but that's about it and then you guys will just have to wait till Halloween to see the arms sticking through it and the light behind it and everything because I'm gonna have to hang the arms from fishing line to kind of keep them suspended sticking out of the holes because it's you know there's glass this far behind the wood so I can't get them far back enough in there to, to stay by themselves but I think it looks pretty cool and it'll look even better when there's blood all over it.